barbell squat is definitely one of the more technical movements and it's one I don't necessarily recommend unless you have the goblet squat form dialed down. There are a lot of cues here, I'm not going to be able to go too in depth into it in this video, but a few things that you want to focus on is as you drop towards the floor, make sure that you are driving the knees out and you're not letting them cave in. Um, if you want to learn how to practice this, you can just wrap a resistance band around your legs which will force your legs to fight that by driving out. And then you also want to make sure that you are using full range of motion, so we don't want to use any half squats here. We want to be able to come as far down as we can to at least 90 degrees. Our hips are going to basically allow how mobile we are and how deep we can go. Get a nice pause at the bottom and then shoot up. So when you rack the bar on your shoulders, you're not putting it directly on your neck. You want to find the crease in between your traps and your shoulders. That's going to allow it to naturally rest. So all you're going to do, get under the bar, step back into position. Feet are going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width and your toes are going to be pointed a little bit out to the sides, so not directly forward. You're going to shoot those hips back just slightly, just slightly, so very small. And then you're going to drop down and again. You want to find that range of motion that feels good, that feels mobile. Stay here for a second and then drive up using the glutes and the quads. So again, hips back, drop, 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 keeping the weight evenly distributed on your feet and then pop up.